It is 2022. We are already well into the so-called decade of action. Concrete and bold steps should be taken to deliver on the objectives related to the clean energy transition. We cannot deny it. The feasibility of humanity achieving carbon neutrality by 2050 becomes increasingly questionable. However, we all seem to be conveying progressively on one point. The clean energy transition is not only a purely technological challenge. Several key aspects beyond technology need to be factored into the equation. Given the complexity of this endeavor, ERA expects 2022 to become a year of scenario building. Based on recent work, we expect scientists to focus on understanding possible pathways in different geographical contexts. But this is not the only priority. Other emerging topics question the how, where, the speed and the cost at which the clean energy transition will take place. The claim missing puzzle in the clean energy transition technology mix opens up many economic and technological opportunities. Yet, there is still significant work required to fully understand hydrogen's role among other clean energy solutions. The environmental and social impacts of supplying materials for renewable energy deployment must be seriously considered if we aim at a sustainable and fair transition. A field traditionally dominated by engineers, energy now attracts experts from diverse disciplines. Social sciences and humanities are increasing their influence, particularly as a social and environmental feasible transition calls for an interdisciplinary approach. Biodiversity loss, soil degradation, water scarcity and deforestation are some of the environmental impacts to be considered when designing clean energy transition alternatives. Last year, unprecedented lawsuits challenged corporate approaches to net zero based on unrealistic assumptions. In 2022, we expect these trends to grow strongly. Imagining potential post-growth alternatives is gaining more traction among experts, activists, as well as policymakers. In 2022, this trend will continue, and we expect several energy scenarios to explore the potential of a clean energy transition that incorporates alternatives to mainstream economic assumptions. Today, Climate adaptation is challenged by the loss and damage research and policy debate where financial resources are seen as a reparation rather than aid. In this regard, in 2022, we will see more attention given to just climate finance, especially with COP27 taking place in an African country. At ERA, many of these topics will be at the top of our agenda this year. Besides them, Others focus on low-carbon energy technologies, materials and systemic issues will be, as always, key for our work. What other research challenges do you see emerging? <laughs>